We're going to go back to Hancock Park. Karen Bass, mayor-elect, is at the podium. Again, she's speaking uh, to the okay. city of Los Angeles. People Let's listen in. known and worked with for many, many years. And, of course, my daughter, Yvette, who has been at my side at every major event and activity of this campaign. So I just thank you so much. You know, our City of Angels was founded 241 years ago, and for 128 of those years, since 1894, the evil of Los Angeles has been dedicated to uplifting the women of this city, and so it is with a special feeling in my heart and with the thoughts of my mother and my daughters and all of the women in this city that I stand before you in this place as the next mayor of Los Angeles. <laughs> say I kind of have to say that a couple of times <laughs> for it to really sink in. sink in. Well, the model of the evil is I will find a way or make one. And you might have heard me along the campaign trail talk about my colleague, John Lewis. And John Lewis used to always say, when he was facing a difficult situation, if you couldn't feel like you knew how to solve the problem, then it was your responsibility to make a way out of no way. And that's the spirit that drove me to run for mayor, and it's the spirit through which I will govern. To say the least, this was a tough campaign. <laughs> it was a long campaign. <laughs> but now it's time to come together and turn the page. I have great respect for anyone who is willing to put it all on the line to serve the public. And I had a great phone call last night with Rick Caruso, and I know that he will continue his civic participation in the city that we both love. I have always admired his lifelong commitment to the people of Los Angeles, and I look forward to working together with him in the future. Now, no matter who you voted for, no matter who you are or where you live, I will be a mayor for you. And that's the only way forward. The crisis we face affects us all, and all of us must be part of the solution. I have spent my whole life as a coalition builder, and make no mistake for me, and I've said this all along the campaign trail, being a coalition builder is not coming together to sing Kumbaya. Being a coalition builder, being a coalition builder, <laughs> being a coalition builder is about marshalling all of the resources, all of the skills, the knowledge, the talent of this city. That is what being a coalition builder is about. It's about marshalling your resources to solve your problems. And many of you know, I used to treat patients in the emergency room at County Hospital. And I think all of us have seen code blues, hopefully only on television, all of us have seen code blues. But what you don't see is a nurse or a doctor standing there alone. You see a team, every member contributing the best of what they have. That's how you save lives. And that's the kind of administration I will build to house people immediately, and to increase safety and opportunity in na every neighborhood. The people of Los Angeles have sent a clear message. It's time for change, and it's time for urgency. Tonight, 40,000 Angelinos will sleep without a home, and five might not wake up. Many Angelinos do not feel safe in their neighborhoods, and families are being priced out of their communities. This must change. And so to the people of Los Angeles, my message is, we are going to solve homelessness, we are going to prevent and respond urgently to crime, and Los Angeles will no longer be unaffordable for working families. Good jobs. <laughs> Good jobs and affordable housing are on the way. Now, I will not accept the notion that this is the way it's always been done. This is how L.A. must continue to do things. I will not accept corruption or cronyism, and I will not accept the sleight of hand or shuffling problems around. 
If you tell me that this is the way it's always been done and that means that we're supposed to continue to do it this way and we know it's not working, then that's just not going to happen. That will not be acceptable because I will only accept solutions. That's what my administration will deliver for L.A. Los Angeles is a powerhouse. The freight coming through our ports powers our national economy. Our entertainment industry powers the dreams of the world and our city is literally powered by the largest municipal utility anywhere. So we cannot settle for people dying on our streets. We cannot settle for Angelinos feeling like they must look over their shoulder when they walk down the street. And we cannot accept that some of our neighborhoods, some of our neighborhoods in this city, have been designated the most overcrowded neighborhoods in the nation. Yeah. Yeah. Here, here. We have to move L.A. in a new direction. This is the city where I was born. It's the city where my mother and father raised me and my three brothers. It's the city where I raised my children and where my children are raising their children, with Amelia and Michael always in our hearts. This is my home, and with my whole heart, I'm ready to serve. And my pledge to you is that I will hit the ground running day one. Los Angeles is the greatest city on earth, and I know if we come together, if we hold each other accountable, if we focus on the best of who we are and what we can achieve, we will create better neighborhoods today and a better future for our children. So to the people of Los Angeles, thank you. To the thousands of people who worked on my campaign, thank you. To everyone standing behind me. In the sun. <laughs> Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. To everyone who will join our mission to move LA in a new direction, thank you and mark my words, we will get big things done together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, two questions. You um, mentioned on Tavis Smiley this morning, uh, our first 100 days are going to be about homelessness and campaigns. Can you tell us a little and more specifics about what that will look like, how will you do that? And then second question, the, the crushingly tough, short timeline about a transition. Yes. Have, have you selected the chief of staff yet? <laughs> tell us a little bit about how you're doing that. Yes. Well, let me just say, in the coming days, you will hear about a transition team and staffing. And you are right, Ben. It is three weeks three solid weeks. And so the view of a... Whoa! Right. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Thought I was going to have to... <laughs> I was ready. <laughs> the view of a transition team to me won't be a three-week transition team. It'll be a transition team that goes into the administration after uh, the swearing-in. So those, uh, those uh, uh, issues, individuals and all, will be announced shortly. And in terms of what I will do, I said all along that on day one, and day one is December 12th, I will declare a state of emergency. We will identify very specific areas where we will get people housed, and we will roll out a whole plan in order to do that. All right, you've been listening to Mayor-elect Karen Bass addressing the people of Los Angeles for the first time since she won uh, the, the, the seat of mayor uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, she just a moment ago mentioned something of note. She said that uh, her first day, de uh, December 12th, she will uh, declare a state of emergency in Los Angeles to tackle homelessness. Uh, she just said that a few seconds ago. She also said today that uh, she ran on being a coalition builder and that that means a marshal all of the resources and the talents uh, in the city. She also talked about tackling crime and affordability. Uh, we'll hear, of course, much more about her speech today later on Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.